have you got a film like that that you love, like a guilty pleasure? Well, sure. I mean, there are guilty pleasures, but I don't feel guilty about it. Hello, mate. How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. Good. Well, thank you for chatting to me today about Thanksgiving. And thank you for introducing me to probably like my first horror movie. I'm a massive horror movie wuss. Like this is, this has really introduced me into that genre. And I want to sort of introduce you into my world, my world of cheesy pink rom-coms. Have you, have you got a film like that that you love, like a guilty pleasure? Well, sure. I mean, there are guilty pleasures, but I don't feel guilty about it. You know, I'll definitely watch rom-coms. Like, I, I mean, I wouldn't even call this a rom-com because I don't feel guilty. Like over the holidays, I watched Bend It Like Beckham. You know, I was watching all the Oscar movies and my wife was like, you need to see Bend It. And I missed it. I completely missed it because we've been watching Car Pilots of the Caribbean and Harry Potter. You know, I need to detox off of horror. Like I can't watch horror all the time or you get kind of inured to it and you miss other stuff. So I do love a good rom-com uh, and I love a terrible rom-com. I like a terrible rom-com that you'd watch on an airplane and then you secretly find yourself crying and then you have to pretend you're having an allergy attack. You see, my fiance makes me watch the worst rom-coms, like really bad Netflix ones. If I could like sub you in, we'll do a trade and you can watch them with her, that would be wicked. Yeah, but it's got it's certain environment. It's not like, oh yeah, I'm watching a rom com tonight. It's like I have to be trapped on a flight. I know there's twelve hours, it's right in front of me, and you just you push the button and you watch it and you're like, Okay, I saw this. As I said, I'm I'm a big wimp when it comes to horror movies. Like I'm watching them through my eyes, but still behind a pillow. Like that's how scared I was. Dude. That's great. Did you did you were you squirming? Did you did you enjoy it? Even as someone who generally doesn't enjoy horror movies. Was I squirming? Yes. Yes, I was squirming. Although Patrick Dempsey's presence does sort of help a little bit. I well, really... Patrick Dempsey is definitely the bridge between rom-coms and horror movies. So I'm glad that you brought over some of the Patrick Dempsey rom-com energy. Look, I mean, the, I wanted Thanksgiving to be a fun experience. I do think it's a great gateway horror movie. Um, you know, I wanted, it's hard to make something that appeals to like super hardcore fans and people that don't normally watch horror movies. Um, but I, I also wanted people to see how fun it can be to watch someone's, you know, head get run over with a shopping cart and get scalped. You know, all these horrible things that it's not quite Monty Python, but you know, with those first few deaths, they're really, they're really satisfying and fun. Um, and it doesn't get as punishing. It's not like hostile is more of an endurance test. This is more at the like cabin fever end of the fun horror spectrum. I like all of them. So it just felt like the right tone for Thanksgiving. But these like gory moments must be like water off a duck's back for you. Are there any sequences or moments from slasher films that make even you squeamish absolutely you know i squirm at weird things like i'm watching the i guess they call it bake off in england but we have called the great british baking show here and when they're under pressure and paul hollywood's coming to judge them i'm under my seat like i actually can't take it like my heart's racing i start to sweat and i get because i don't you know i can be watching heads chopped off horror movies and i'm like oh how did they do that i wish i had thought of that i get so excited but when I'm watching Bake Off, I'm like, I can't, I can't believe it. Or, uh, you know, I've, I finally am catching up watching Beef and they're doing these like horrible things. I'm like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. So like that kind of stuff where I don't, you're not watching it for tension. You don't expect to be tense, but that's when it gets you. But, but Great British Baking Show, my gosh, I, I don't think, I mean, I'd say like do a horror themed episode. But for me, every episode, as pleasant as they are, is, is just terrifying. If the producers are watching this right now, just to appeal to you, instead of like a famous Paul Hollywood handshake, he could just like take someone's head off with a karate chop just to sort of appease you. He could do that. He could just laser with those eyes and just cut down the room. I also have to congratulate you on getting greenlit for a sequel to Thanksgiving. I saw you um, post it on your Instagram and I saw people like Ariana Greenblatt and Benjamin Byron Davis commenting on it. And seeing those comments got me very, very hyped for the Borderlands movie. I um I recently spoke to Benjamin Byron Davis and he told me about a scene that he was really excited for me to see in that film. So as the director, is there a moment in this film that you are excited for fans of Borderlands to see? 
I can't talk about it because uh, Lionsgate has requested me to hold off on all Borderlands Press. The movie's coming out in August, and I think we want to kind of keep the excitement. So respectfully, I will tell you that answer at a later date. Just to let you know, this is like a verbal contract. We now have to do, we have to do this again now. But um, I, I have to go now. So thank you so much for chatting to me about Thanksgiving. Thank you for introducing me to scary movies. I'm thank glad you. we brought you over to the dark side. It's fun. They're great date movies. No, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm still going to sit with Bendit like Beckham. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. Thank All you, right, dude. Nice meeting you. Cheers, Cheers. mate. Bye. Bye. Bye.